Pan, aba parang doon pag ginanahan yung kanilang nakalaban sa pagtaob ng Petron pagdating ng dulo. It should be a tall order for both squads to try and get their campaigns going now. 0-1 pareho sa pagpasok sa gabing ito. Mga nakaasul ng Petron ang unang kukuha ng jump ball dito. Tubid starting in place of Chris Lutz na na-injure nga ng kanilang nakarang laro. They go immediately to their import conference and that's what happened also in their last few games of the Philippine Cup. Renato Bachman, kanilang import 23 points, 14 rebounds and 6 shot clocks nung kanilang unang laro kontra sa global, global court. Ang problema pagdating ng fourth quarter, 4 points na lang din ang naidagdag niya sa kanyang total. Dito, 2 for 2 ang una niyang tikada mula sa free throw line. Rogers from the outside trying to give us early from the field. And but sometimes we reward players. And uh, also, there is that idea. Anja, then, si Alex, galing yan ng Petron. And he might want to prove something to his uh, former team. Yung Baroka nung nakaraan, 2 for 10 from the field for only 4 points. Si Malyari, 5 points lang. Pero sinamahan ng 7 rebounds and 3 assists. Patuot ang kanilang import na si Bachman. Para naman dito si San Miguel Coffee. Yan si Deocampo, who Yancy did not... Yan si Deocampo Deo having to come out. And then, uh, kalamigan pa si Yancy. Sabi mo nga, hindi nagnarunong huling laro. Lanete with the leather gets it over to Tubid. Tubid playing that three spot para sa Petron. Fajardo is there. He's got lang on the follow. Malyari over to Devans. JDB pulling pass over. James, kapag ito ka na magbigis pa, ito na ang Petron. Kabagnot to Tubid, Pepreno. Naipit, tatlo kalaban. Lanete from the outside. Ay pa rin para dito sa Petron. Himself starting with this team in the first two games of the Commissioner's Cup. Devans gagambalain dito ni Tubid. The shorter Tubid forcing Devans to pick up his dribble. I remember and the reason why he might be starting as well. Petron, you know, we know that they're a stack lineup, but we also have seen Na yung mga gwardiya nila, you, can already, you might even already be able to put a tag on them that they might be injury prone dahil lagi na injured si Lasseter, pati si Lutz. As Matt Rogers gets the first field goal of the game, kapag nag may tanga na bola, Malyari on him. Spent one conference with Petron, etong si Alex Malyari tulad binanggit nila Miko. Lanete ngayon in trouble, gets it over to his import. Ronaldo in the lane, no good. Rebound battle. Pagliari ends up with it. Nice pass underneath. Yap to Rogers for the two points. One thing that we can see about Matt Rogers is that he looks like he's willing to run the floor. Hindi mabigat yung panya. Moving well without the leather too. I don't see Matt Rogers. And that gives San Mikofi a two-point lead. Tamag no, ta-atake, Pepreno. Uh, up and under. Ginawa pa rin ng ring, pero natigil na si Fajardo to finally clean it up. But Junmar Fajardo played only 11 minutes nung sila ay matalo sa Global Court. 5 points, 2 rebounds, and a block lang ang nai-record niya. At dahil natin, breakout game na ito ni Junmar Fajardo was against San Miguel back in the Philippine Cup when he exploded for a double-double, Jason. You know, and, and for, for Junmar and, and for Coach Alton, he's still holding the game and James makes that shot. They're still searching for what is the nice minutes limit para dito sa Junmar and Fajardo. Right, 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 right. Will that give Junmar some added boost here na alam niya na pinakamagandang nalaro niya up to that point sa kanyang PBA career was against this same lineup, this same front line. Parang alam mo bang pumapasok ko sa laro kung kaya-kaya ko ito mga ito? So it, it helped, you know, when you have a good game, you remember who you played again. This game is now tied at 6. James, pinakagat ito si Kabagnot, step to the left, jump to the James Yap starting the same way as he did in their first game this conference. Mainit yung shooting niya. Looks pretty sharp again in this first quarter. Four points in this quarter para kay James. He scored 11 of his 19 in quarter number one. Yung buna nilang laro as Kapag Nod continues to deliver here. He's got four points. The 
Bond spotted by Kabagnot. Alex takes it away. Magpapasabit pa ito si Kabagnot. Joe Devance wise enough to stay away from picking up a foul. It's just a good job on the part, part of Alex. He, he put he, The ball was right in front of him. He knew he didn't pick it right Now Petron has to foul. They have, don't have the numbers here. Ooh -hoo. Magliari trying to go to Rogers for the reverse jam. Na kompleto na ang depensa dito na Petron. Laneta was slow to get back up after getting smacked on the mouth. James to Rogers moving well without the leather again. Devance hindi lang nasa ng mga linis. Pati 3 seconds sila to. Coach Tim still applauding those short passes. Kung nasa Lusana ng crisp ni Devance yun, 2 points na sana yun. And, and they've gotten quality look or at least gotten the ball into situations where they can get a quality shot so far. So far, talking about the Sunday Club, you make sure. In the slide, that's si Baltman. Laneta ends up turning it over. Magliari picks up speed down the middle. Alex Magliari all the way is fouled. See? Magliari splits, and that brings San Mig to within one. How do you like it si Alex Kabat not now playing the two guard spot para sa Petro? Trying to expand it with things and like you said, no? as we see a, a stark contrast in uniforms, you can see Sun Big Coffee, you have your tie and uh, long sleeves, sa kabila, uh, t-shirt naman, yung uh, Petro. Well, Brian is the score, Petro Abante by three points. Magliari from the sideline gets it over to Devance. JDV came on strong late in their first game. Yap on the move. Ini wants it with the one-hander. Atalas Kabagnot saves it almost. Pero na tapak na siya sa baseline. Yeah, actually, Alex is guarding Joe Devance. And Joe Devance has not been able to take advantage of that matchup. Si Alex pa, ang lumalamang sa matchup na yun. Dahil naaagawan niya. Itong si uh, Joe Devance. Finally, they moved there by Coach Olsen to make it the uh, same size na ang naging matchup. James Short. Malyari keeps this possession alive para sa San Miguel Coffey. Pinahanap nila si Rogers. They swing it around. No line of sight. James now will unleash one. Yap misses. Yan Si. Poor boxing out on the part of Petron. And because of that, taking advantage is San Mig Coffee. They actually rebounded very well in their first game, and they're doing the same thing against Aronapo. Aliari from the baseline. Short pass to Yancy. The 12 footer doesn't work. Hawkman for the board. Willie Go goes to coast. Hawkman facing off against Rogers. Taimuna ng rest back dito si Ronaldo. Now he wants to repost. Bachman pulls up. A bit short. James over to Devance. Rogers with Bachman gambling. Nice spin. Oh, tata pa rin inabot mula kay Fardo. Bachman to Tubid on the run. Nice sidestep. The fearless gets the two points. Good sidestep, uh, Magu, and also a good screen on the part of Junmar. So Palpal on one end, and then he ran the floor. At hinila niya yung defense ka para may driving range. Ito si Ronald Tubin. Lima na ang abante rito ng Petron Blades Boosters. James couldn't eat into it. This should send us... Pero hindi naman daw siya pressured. In fact, he's very inspired dahil overwhelming daw ang support ng mga fans ng Sandwich Coffee Mixers. Balik sa inyo. Thank you, Erica. No problema. No? You come into a team for the defending champions. Kaya sigurado, doble yung... Uh, nasa utak mo na kailangan at least dalawa lang sa finals bigyan mo ng pagkakataong madepensahan talaga yung corona well, it's a little bit difficult on his part because you know nga sinabi they're defending champions and there is that opportunity na ibalik yung import na nagpa-champion sa kanila and I remember Denzel Bowles no time remaining hitting two free throws carrying that team in the uh, in game 7 in overtime at alam mo pag ganyan kapag ng San Miguel Coffee this large fan base Yung mga import na ganyan, napapamahal doon sa fan base at kalalasan, hindi ko kumpira ka. You can say it's one thing uh, for Sun Mig Coffee. Say same thing uh, with Barangay Hinebra with Chris Alexander. Up to today, no, it's been uh, five years, uh, 2008, since Chris Alexander helped Barangay Hinebra to their last championship. 
Ngayon, kahit sino dumating na import, syempre, doon may kukumpara. Dungeon, yun yung champion. Moving on the move, gets it over to Bachman. Washington asking for it, seven to work with. Jaywash mula sa kanan, played only 19 minutes in their opener. Pena for the rebound. Gets Petron another possession. They go to the post. Bogman facing up against Rogers. It has to be a quick move for him. And he has to use his quickness. That's si Bogman. Sa pinaka maliit sa lahat ng import. So he has to use a combination of his athletic ability and the quickness that he has against the bigger import. Kapag ka bagay niya nga, yung resume mo includes a significant amount of time spent in the PBA. Kasama na yan sa psych out mo sa mga kalaban. Kasama na yan sa pedigree mo na. You have, you, you, you have that uh, belief in yourself that I was picked ahead of so many players that are still in the NBA right now. And you know, eh, pag pili sa kanyang studio ko, eh, maraming nakakilala sa kanya. Kabag not from the corner. Does it work? Masuk na para si San Miguel tong si Naparoka at PJ Simon. Kasama si Devance, Rogers and James Yan. Simon kontra Bachman. Inahanap si Rogers sa poste. Peña doing a good job. Keeping an eye on him. Kabagnot swipes it away and gets a gimme. Dito sa kapitan ko. 18-9 is the score. Petron dinoble ng production dito na San Miguel Coffee. Simon nagtawid ng bola. PJ Contra Lassiter, one of the best perimeter defenders in the modern age of the PBA. PJ, Mintis Peña para sa rebound. Miranda Di Discarte gets it over to Washington. That's a nice matchup right there, Bachman and Pingri. Tutulong itong si James Yap. They get it over to Jay Wash. One dribble reverses. Good. Good patience on the part of Jay Washington. Alam niya malaki yung nandon. What he did was he used the ring na para si isang para maging sangga don sa shot blocker. It's actually a 10 to 0 run. And if you push it even further, it's it was actually a 14 to 1 run. Bago yung tira niya ni Jay Yap. Petron Blaze doing this with Arwin Santos yet to see action in this game. Take down two minute warning on the first quarter. Washington on the pull up. Peña gives Petron another possession. Ang apat na rebound na yan para kay Doria. You have to think that Jay Washington has to make James Yap work defensively as a turnover happens right there. Behind you, Pasa. PJ Simon will be fouled. Has checked into this game for the first time. Pinalitan si Bachman. James contra Arwin gets it over the ping. Washington looking to body up on Sakuragi. Rogers pulls up, quick release on Peña, make a sama bang foul. Shooting the basketball. Rogers completes that three-point play. He's got seven in total. At mabasa ani mga bante ng Petron. Peña sliding underneath. Ilawalan ng ring. Ingris picks it up. Baroka, the one-hander, papunta sana kay Simon. Leo La Horda pumasok na para kay Coach Nipko. Pinalitan muna. Yap. Miranda in trouble. Sir. Part dahil nga na-trade na yung mga backup niya. But he has to go down to basics. Why was he so successful last conference? It was putting pressure on the basketball. Exactly what he did to Denon. Rogers misses. La Horda underneath. In trouble. San Miguel reset this attack. Ani mang kailangan punuin dito ng mixers less than a minute to go in the first. Baroka against Lassiter. PJ moving without the leather. Baroka para rin inaanap itong si PJ. Finally gets it over. The scoring apostle puts it up. Bitin. Santos para sa rebound. We can go for a two for one. Para mukhang hindi na nila didiscarte inyo. Peña, battling Rogers for position in sa ilalim. Washington ang atake ngayon. Denok for three. Gonna get it to stick. BJ Simon gets off for the last possible attempt of quarter number one. BJ against two defenders. Gets it over to Rogers. 